Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. Jack, you've lost a lot of weight. No, it's me, Jace, from the Banana Bros. My dad's taking a nap right now. They've been working really hard on Virtual Big Pine. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you every week on Beyond Broken Drift. Now let's go see how much weight my dad has lost. I did it. I lost seven pounds in like five days. I feel fantastic. I have so much more energy. I, um, uh, my mind feels better. Everything feels better. Um, I had like one slip up, but it wasn't anywhere near what I used to have. So, um, super excited. Feel great. Um, yeah, I just want to keep it going and I will keep you guys posted. We'll have another weigh in next week. Um, yeah. All right, we have a big week ahead of us. We have uh, the Big Pine Comedy Festival coming up in the next week. We're going virtual, which is crazy. Now, one of the cool things we're gonna do uh, for this festival is we're gonna premiere the Puppy King full-length movie. And we're gonna do it at a park, social distancing. Um, but we're, uh, today I'm at the park right now just to make sure everything works out all right. We got the uh, um, the screen that we're gonna blow up, make sure that works, got the generator. We also brought out our RV. So here is the RV. Uh, we bought this thing to take cross country. Right now it has the big pine logos on it. There's the broken drift up there. We've taken this thing to Tennessee, Oklahoma, New Orleans, Mississippi, Texas, New Mexico, California, Nevada, uh, looking for talent uh, for the festival and just uh, creating content. Uh, it's a really cool thing and uh, I'm glad we get to start using it a little more. But the guys will be here soon um, because I'm not a tech guy and they need to help me with that stuff. I know what you're saying, Jack, you do a vlog, you have all this stuff. I'm not good with it, I promise. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be here soon. Uh, luckily, it's not too hot today. It's like a high of like 90 something, which is great. So we'll see you soon. So how do you guys feel about Puppy King? All right, so looking forward to Puppy King. It's my mom loves Puppy King so she much. She loves it so much. <laughs> she loves it so much. It's almost annoying. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. Because like she's never said anything I've done is great, but she's like, I love Puppy King. I'm like, I literally just did a dumb voice in Puppy King. <laughs> how do you feel? I, you know, I'm excited about the whole thing. Just getting the event set up, bringing bringing Puppy King to the people of Scottsdale. <laughs> Big Pine Comedy Festival virtual this uh, year. Hell yeah! So now that Big Pine has gone virtual, and we are doing, uh, we usually have meetings in person, obviously when there's no quarantine. So now we're not doing that. So today we are having a production meeting for Big Pine, and we're doing it uh, via Zoom, except for me, Hillary, and Phil, who live together. So let's check out how to see how that's going. a light over the camera or are we like personal messaging them hey you have one minute i've seen both in zoom shows matt walker that's all you private message and then if they don't uh get off then have a light ready to light them right matt and then we're gonna a particular person a particular so that's what it looks like it's uh the way of the world i guess we say now uh I definitely miss seeing all my friends in person, but it is fun to see us still all come together to try to make something great this week, so. So one of Hillary's favorite things about Big Pine was the backdrops of the stages. She worked really hard on making great backdrops. Um, here are a couple right now. They're so great. She's so great at it. And that's one thing she wanted to implement in virtual Big Pine. She wanted us to build some really cool uh, backdrops uh, for the festival this year. So I thought I would take you around and show you the before. And, uh, and then once we get them all set up, I'll show you the after. It'll be really cool. One thing we're also doing during virtual Big Pine is we're filming a documentary. Cassidy is gonna be in charge of that. And we're gonna have stations around the house set up for um, confessionals if you just want to talk about something that happened so 
uh, let me take you on a little tour. So this is actually going to be one station here. This is going to be one of the um, backdrops to the confessionals. So we're going to um, get all this right here uh, set up maybe a little differently. Put some merchandise in there. Put some lights in, make it really look nice. And then we'll set up like an iPad or something here where someone can just sit down and start talking into it. I think that's going to be really cool. I don't know if I've ever showed this angle of my space, but this is where I sit. My tripod and camera, or my phone go right here, lights hit me, and then what you see is Now this is gonna be the Banana, Bro Banana Bros headquarter room. We got some pictures we gotta hang, I gotta hang that, I gotta hang that. That's actually going in a different room though. This is the Banana Bros room. We're gonna put a big thing up here as well. And then we're gonna have a podcast set up here. And I gotta order some more stuff today, but we're gonna do podcasts here. Uh, the little banana light glows. Let's get that. Let's pop that in so you can see that. It's pretty cool. That looked really cool. Put some other stuff in the background. Maybe some plan or something. I don't, I'm not sure yet. And in here, we're going to the last production room. I think the kids are in here playing MLB The Show. Yep, Kylie's there. Jay, say hi, guys. So this is room is a mess. Got stuff there. All the Banana Bros stuff there, but this is gonna be the backdrop. That um, uh, Pulp Fiction picture you saw is gonna go right in there. And then we're gonna have three panels here, wood panels. And this is gonna be one of the main backdrops for the festival. So it's a mess now, we got a lot of work to do. We know what we wanna do, we have a plan, which is good. Now we just gotta, uh, gotta do it. So can't wait to show you guys the finished results. See you soon. Each week I try to pick a topic something that's important to me, something that is gonna help me grow, and hopefully you guys as well. And then I show things that happened during that week in my life, and I try to tie it all together. This week, I wanna talk about Big Pine Comedy Festival. It's something that's very important to me. It's something that's very important to the Broken Drift team. And I'm sad right now. I'm sad that I don't get to go to Flagstaff and be in that great city with uh, amazing people that have welcomed us from day one. I'm sad that I don't get to see my friends. Even though it's the toughest five days of the year for me, I love being there with like-minded people. People that want to make people laugh. People that are following their dreams. So I'm sad I don't get to be there with him this week. But I'm excited to be a part of this Broken Drift team, this Big Pine team that doesn't stop, that decided we're not gonna cancel. We're gonna put something out there for the comics because we've always been for the comics. And that's exciting to be a part of. Next week's vlog, I know I'm gonna talk about virtual Big Pine but I don't know if it's gonna be in a positive way or a negative way. And I'm not scared either way because I know regardless of what happens this week with Big Pine, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna keep going forward. We're gonna keep trying. And that's exciting because comedy is something that needs to live right now. People need to laugh. So I hope to see you at some shows this week. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week on Beyond Broken Drift. They've been working really hard on uh, getting, working really hard on getting, okay. They've been working really hard on virtual big drift. He's been doing really bad on, and hit the notification. Right now. And he's been telling you guys, and he keeps for, forget, and he's terrible at telling you guys to hit that subscribe button and the notifications next to it.